Hello. Hi. I'm, uh, I'm Tom Zork, and I'm a freshman here at the McDonough School of Business. Um, first of all, I'd like to say a quick thank you to everybody involved in the Compass Fellowship. Um, this experience has been amazing and truly inspiring um, and has allowed me to develop this passion that I've had for entrepreneurship into something great I'd like to share with you today. Um, so the story. We all know somebody who is just fundamentally confused by computers. Either they don't understand how it works, they don't understand what it's capable of, they just don't know how to do anything on them. Um, my grandfather was a lifelong computer salesman, and uh, shortly after he retired, he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, unfortunately. Um, and today he is barely unable, uh, he's barely able to even turn on his computer to play his favorite game of solitaire. My grandfather's not alone. Uh, in the United States, there are currently 38.9 million people living above the age of 65. 5.3 million of those have been diagnosed with some form of Alzheimer's. And thanks to the baby boom generation, by 2030, there will be 72.1 million people above 65 in the US. So what do I want to do? I want to create a computer device that is so simple to use that I can empower the elderly to access, use, and enjoy technology as much as I'm sure you and I do in our own daily lives. Now, I'm sure you're thinking, somebody else must be doing this. And that's true, but they're basing their product off of current operating systems of Mac and Windows. So I want to take a quick look at the computing industry as it is right now. I like to see the industry on this scale um, from simplicity to customization and complexity. So if I were to put BlackBerry on the scale, I'd put it right about here. And Windows with their new 7 release would probably be right around here. And you can probably see where I'm going with this. Apple would be here. What I want to do is I want to take this scale and do a fundamental shift towards the extreme of simplicity and put Jive right about there. I want to liken it to the product uh, that you guys may know of, which is the Jitterbug. What the Jitterbug did to cell phones, Jive is going to do for computers. So the product. The product at its core is going to be simple to use. It's going to have a very easy operating system. It's going to be efficient. No process is going to take more than two or three clicks. It's going to be clean and a very simple, stylish interface that is not complicated and convoluted by a bunch of different taskbars and random nothing stuff. There's going to be absolutely no learning curve attached to it. Uh, anybody could pick up this device from a three-year-old to an 83-year-old and instantly know how to make it do what they want it to do. And lastly, it's just going to be easy. So the actual features involved. It's going to have an innovative operating system that is designed by myself, and I'm going to work with a team of software designers to make this uh, screen that just is so easy to use. You'll see a, a glimpse of it later. Um, I want to incorporate 3G networking so that the user is not attached to Wi-Fi or to uh, internet cables, and they can take this device wherever they want to go. It's going to use APIs of existing software features that are available online, such as email clients, such as uh, video chatting, and file sharing, and video, and uh, picture sharing. And it's going to incorporate them all into that innovative operating system that I was telling you about. It's going to have numerous fail-safes throughout the product so that no user can just get stuck in it and not understand where they are or how to get back to what they were doing. So I want to show you a little bit of what it looks like. This is what the screen might look like uh, at the beginning. As you can see, it's simple. There's nothing complicated about this. Everything on there is a touch screen. It, it, you, know, you push anywhere, and it does something. It greets them by name. It tells them what the day it is. It informs them of recent updates to any of their applications that they might have incorporated into it. If you were to hit that access button, you might see something like this. You've got very simple commands for what the product is capable of. They can watch YouTube. They can read blogs. They can connect with people in their address book. I could go much more into depth of how I want to make this work, but I don't want to bore you guys. Um, but the social benefits of a product like this. We all have computers and cell phones, I'm sure. Um, and these computers and cell phones allow us to connect to our friends, our family, and our colleagues in our day-to-day -day lives. The elderly, because they cannot access technology like we can, don't have the ability to connect with each other, with their families, with their friends, with you know, people they knew from their life. And 
that I feel is, is a great limitation on their ability to access everything that we can access in the modern world. So what I want to do is I want to take everything that we use and just make it so they can understand it. Also, if we can do that, especially for the Alzheimer's patients, and if we can actively engage them in a product day to day that allows them to read, to watch, to play, to interact, you're going to combat the, the, the degeneration of the, the brain's functions uh, by engaging them actively in their day to day lives. Um, so thank you very much. I look forward to talking to any of you afterwards, and uh, look out for Jai Productions in the near future. <laughs>